Joshua David Hawley tweeted an image of an email from Adrian Wojnarowski on Friday, in which T, he lead NBA reporter, for EPN responded to a news release sent out by the senator's office with H and expletive. Hawley sent out an announcement publicizing the letter he sent to NBA Commissioner Adam Ilver that criticizes the league for allowing messages that promote social justice on jerseys during the season restart this month while not allowing messages of support for law enforcement or criticism of China's Communist Party. Wojnarowski responded to Holly Press Office email, writing, F, you, without censoring the expletive. Holly then posted an image of Wojnarowski response on Twitter, with the message, do not criticize hashtag China, or express support for law enforcement to at the rate of ESPN, it makes them real mad, by Friday afternoon. Wojnarowski, who is among EPN most high-profile reporters, and best known, for routinely breaking NBA me, WS, tweeted an apology, writing, I was disrespectful, and I made a regrettable mistake. I am sorry for the way I handled myself, and I am reaching out immediately to N. Holly to apologize directly, I also need to apologize to my EPN colleagues, because I know M, why actions were unacceptable, and should not reflect on any of them. In its own statement, EPN said, this is completely unacceptable behavior, and we do not condone it. It is inexcusable for anyone working for EPN to respond in the way Adrian did to Anne Hawley, we are addressing it directly, with Adrian and the specifics of those conversations will remain, internal. During the Trump era, EPN has very publicly sought to portray itself as an apolitical refuge, from divisive issues, and a home, for sports fans across the political spectrum, the actions of Wojnarowski are likely to drive another news cycle, about the company politics re, reminiscent of previous controversies involving, some of EPN most visible personalities. Three years ago, Ports Center host Jamel Hill called Trump a white supremacist in a Twitter reply, which prompted a reply from Mara Anders then the White House press secretary, in the briefing room, calling Hill's comment a fireable offense. Hill later reached a buyout with the network. Last year, Dan Libatar, the popular radio and TV host, rebuked both Trump and the network limits on discussing politics on his EPN radio show, aft, are a threatening chant, from Trump supporters, and her back and her back, in reverence to the Omali, born representative Ilhan Omar. The network responded by releasing internal polling data, that it said its viewers did not want, to see politics on its airwaves. And George Floyd death, while in custody of Minneapolis police May 25 however, EPN has leaned heavily into coverage of the protests, dedicating extensive airtime to discussing racial injustice, and the moment in America, in sports and beyond. The NBA plans to restart its season this month at a Disney-owned complex near Orlando. As part of the resumption of games, after the season was suspended in mid, March because of the end of all coronavirus, the league, and its players association negotiated messages that players could display, on T, he backs of their jerseys instead of their names. The approved messages, according to EPN, include Black Lives Matter, 
either names, vote, I can't breathe, justice, peace, equality, freedom, enough, listen to us, and taunt up. Holly suggested players put messages such as back the blue, upward our troops, and God bless America on their jerseys. Many top NBA players have participated in the protests that swept the country after Floyd's day a th. Several players were vocal in questioning whether playing the rest of the season at all was a distraction from the larger nationwide conversation about racial injustice that has accompanied I the protests. The NBA has fostered a progressive image as its players and coaches have spoken up forcefully against Trump and in support of causes such as gun control and criminal justice reform and against police brutality. Holly's letter was critical of the difference in how the league and its players have supported those issues with its reaction to Houston Rockets general manager Daryl Morey, who tweeted his support for pro-democracy protesters in Hong Kong last fall ahead of an exhibit tie-in tour through China. The NBA has lucrative TV and merchandise business ties to China, and after a backlash from the Chinese government, Morey deleted the tweet and the league called his comments regrettable. After Wojnarowski tweeted his apology, Martin Z. Johnson, an associate editor at The Undefeated, an EPN vertical that covers sports, race and culture, tweeted, We should all publicly back our colleagues, especially against bad, faith efforts. Nothing to apologize for, but he did, and that's okay I'm always going to write for my teammates. Other prominent Republicans in recent weeks, including the president, have seized on sports as a culture war issue. Trump has tweeted about declining knockout ratings, though the sports ratings are actually up calm, paired with last year. After a noose was found in the garage of driver Bubba Wallace, and NFL players potentially kneel, in during the national anthem, when the season starts Kelly Loeffler, a Republican senator, from Georgia who is a part owner of the WNBA's Atlanta Dream, and locked, in a tight primary battle to retain her seat has been critical of that league for its efforts to support social justice causes.